Let's move on to our fourth main topic today. Chris, what is our fourth main topic today? This is from Sadfit Reviews. Hi, John. Joker has broken the October opening weekend record of $94 million, taking Venom to the number two spot. Do you think that the Joker branding made audiences want to see this movie or not? What do you think? And thank you and have a great day. Well, <coughs> pardon me. This is one of those situations where, look, we, were, we made some guesses a couple weeks ago. I guessed it would open somewhere between 90 and 100, which would place it above Venom. Let's just go back and do a little bit of fact checking on this. Yes, Joker is now has broken the record for the number one box office opening of all time in the month of October. It supersedes another comic book film, Venom, from just last year that made $80.255 million. Halloween was 76, Gravity 55, and The Martian down at 54. So Joker easily breaking the October weekend box office record. That is impressive. <clears throat> what was it that drew people out to it more than say Venom? I think there's a couple of things. I think number one is of course the brand recognition of the name Joker. I mean, that that's huge. You can't get away from that. Number two, you've got Joaquin Phoenix in it. Number three, you've had a lot of positive buzz, winning awards, a lot of positive reviews, all this kind of, by the way, there's this fake narrative going around out there. They're saying, the media was trying to turn everybody against Joker. Uh, last time I checked, the vast majority of the media gave it positive reviews. Not that I care whether they gave it positive reviews or negative reviews, but there's this fake, there's this fake, you know, outrage going on. Oh, the media was trying to put down Joker. No, the last I checked, the vast majority of the media was actually supporting it. But anyway, that's a separate issue. Then there was the controversy stuff. And that got everybody talking about Joker. And everybody kept talking Joker, Joker, Joker. Joker was on everybody's lips all the time. So I think there's a number of things that went in there that got us to this point. Uh, and just, I think a big thing of it was, of course, it started winning some awards. It looked incredible. It is Joker, all that kind of stuff. So I, I think that's one of the primary reasons. And listen, guys, don't underestimate this record. This is significant. Because again, you're looking at you know, four and five, you're talking about 55 and $54 million. You've almost doubled what four and five were. That is a significant jump. And to beat the previous record by 13 million, that's not a small thing. That is a really big thing. And I think it's really, really quite impressive. Anyway, Rob, when you look at the results of Joker and how it's done now, breaking that October weekend record and, and all that kind of stuff, what do you attribute most of that to? How did it break that record? Well, I think you're spot on. First and foremost, it's it's the Joker. And whether, you know, Batman appears in this movie or not, it's still part of a franchise that is beloved for many, many generations of people. And, uh, you know, moviegoers young to old are interested in a Joker film. Secondly, like you pointed out, it, it has a lot of buzz, a lot of award buzz. But I think most of all, it's a cultural event. It's become, I've heard more people talking about this movie, more people have been writing to me about this movie, people have opinions about this movie, and they're, they're opinions that are good. Normally you'd hear, nah, it sucked, or I loved it. This is a film that people are analyzing and people are thinking about and people are, are, are contemplating and, and more importantly discussing with one another in a very cogent, erudite manner what this film is all about. And I think it really has... It is the right movie for the right time, and it, it covers, I mean, certainly what it's done for the comic book genre uh, is a great thing, but also what it says about our society right now. It really is a zeitgeist moment, and I think this film is something that that really means a great deal to a lot of people for a number of different reasons. It's, it's one of those big moments in time, and they don't come around. How many movies get released a year? You don't see any kind of buzz. People aren't having the kinds of discussions about, you know, uh, uh, the, even good movies like The Farewell, you know, mm. which is another uh, very meaningful movie that had a lot of positive buzz. But this film, this film has a groundswell of interest. And I really do think it, it, it has more, there's more going on here than just another movie that came out this weekend. And it's even doing, it hasn't even opened in China yet. And it had a huge, yeah. Opening foreign, it's up almost to 250 million worldwide. Is it going to get a China release? They don't have one scheduled yet. Yeah, it doesn't seem like the type of movie to me that China that, would yeah. allow them to release it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <clears throat> so here's a question I have for you guys. Understanding that it just beat the Venom record pretty soundly, Venom went on to make 856 million. 
could the interest in Joker propel it to actually overtaking Venom's overall mm. box office mark of 856 million? Chris, let me ask you that first. Do you think it can get to that mark? Absolutely. Absolutely. Everyone I know who does not enjoy comic books or comic book films wants to see this movie. All of my art house friends are like, I have to see this with you. When are we going? I'm so excited. I want to see this psychological film. Whereas Venom, I had to keep saying, you know, the symbiote. Do you guys know? She's saying it wrong. Do you want to see it anyway? This movie, I think, is going to absolutely crush those numbers. Rob, do you think it can actually catch Venom's numbers? I, you know, I have to disagree because at the end of the day, this isn't fun. You know, I, I, it's not like you come out of Venom and it was a wacky fun time at the movies. Whereas this movie, I kind of feel I needed a shower after I saw this film. I mean, <laughs> I needed to take some, I don't know, antidepressants or something. Mm -hmm. So I think it's going to do well, but I can't see on a worldwide basis that this is going to catch Venom. But then again, I could be wrong because I've been very surprised by the cultural moment this movie's having mm -hmm. also. So I could be very wrong about this, and Chris, you could be very right. I just think that it doesn't, can, you know, it asks you, you that to again, put on slower? a happy face. <laughs> just say, Chris, you could be right. You know, we can shorten it. Chris, you're right. You know what? Chris, you're right. Yes. It's oh, not going to catch so it. It's so satisfying. <clears throat> it's not going to catch <gasps> it. There's a couple of reasons why. I think this is a better movie. Mm -hmm. Me too. Um, I, I, I think this is a better movie uh, than Venom. That said, and I and I had a lot of fun with Venom. I, and you're right, Rob. You're. It's just a fun time for the movies. It is. This, I don't believe Joker. I've already heard from a number of people said, man, I really like watching that movie. Not going to go watch it again, though. It is it is a heavier kind of film. And I don't think it's going to get the kind of repeat, <coughs> pardon me, the kind of repeat business for it that, say, a Venom did. You add on top of that, I think there are going to be some foreign markets that played Venom that are not going to play Joker, being you know the R-rated material that it is and all that kind of stuff. Um... I mean, China might because it portrays American culture in a pretty bad light. So maybe China will be all about that. I, I mean, I don't know. But I think because of that, no, I think it's going to do really well. It obviously already is. But <clears throat> I don't think you're going to see this movie hit 800 million. Be kind of cool if it did. I don't think it will, though. But that brings us to this, guys. That is the topic of today's question of the day. I wanted to put it to you guys because I know a lot of you guys have seen Joker now. Having seen it, do you think... It's going to catch Venom. Do you think it has the rewatchability that a movie like Venom did? So I simply ask you guys, will Joker catch that $856 million overall box office mark that Venom hit? And 42% of you are saying, yes, it'll catch Venom. 58% of you right now, right now the no's have it. No, it will not quite catch Venom. Maybe for some of the things that we said, maybe for some other reasons altogether. But that's what we're feeling right now. Question is, guys. What do you think about this? What do you think about Joker, number one, breaking that record? And number two, what do you think about the Joker's chances of now that it's past Venom's opening weekend box office record, will it get more people and still have those legs to get to like an $800 million mark and more? It's an interesting question. I want to know what you guys think about that. Jump down to the comments section below and leave us your thoughts. All right.